getting tired of using my phone uh holding it up to the microphone we gotta we there's gotta be a better way ned do, do you want to just use my phone in the future maybe we should i don't know <laughs> um in any case hey everybody it's monday night which means it's time for another episode of fm rager i'm your host connor clifton joined as always by my lovely co-host ned gale ned how the heck are you yeah oh i'm doing good that's great yeah oh i'm doing great that's good. That's good. <laughs> uh, no, I'm doing fantastic. Uh, feeling feeling good on a Monday. You don't always get that, but that's, I'm sparked up. Had a good day at work. That's true. Mm. I had a very good day at work. Good. I thought my boss was going to be out of town. He wasn't. And surprise, surprise, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he approved my time off request that I needed Sick. done like, <laughs> very <to> quickly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, no, it, it was a fun Monday. Had some uh, vermicelli in my belly. I'm feeling Ooh. really good. Uh, feeling kind of smelly. It's I had hot some- and I'm sweaty. Eggplant in my leg pant. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. I, I pooped. <laughs> uh, we'll get you some Depends. <laughs> Keep it from running down the leg. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's how you know it's FM Ranger because the show sucks. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Ned, yeah. I want to know how your freaking weekend was. But okay. I want to start from the tippy top. What was the last thing you did on Sunday? Uh, okay, like a reverse thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> rewind. It was all like yesterday. And yesterday, I'm, I'm just gonna. Yesterday. I know we don't really do it this often. We usually keep the music going throughout the whole uh, freaking weekend. But, but your arm's tired because it's the most workout you've done this week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> um, I'm used to slamming my fist down, not holding it up. <laughs> Sunday, I hung at the house. What did I do? Uh, what did you do Sunday? You told Sunday, me first. I met. And my up- freaking weekend was great. <laughs> on Sunday, I met up and had lunch with my dad. Okay. And then uh, Rahul and I hung out, friend of the show. Ah, uh, yes. And you had to leave. I recorded the podcast with Cody, the other podcast, Honey, I Shrunk the Binge, which that's, drops on Wednesdays. That's a good podcast. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell us anything about what's coming up? Uh, oh, oh, yes. Uh, Cody and I Shrunk the Binge on Two Guys, a Girl, and a Pizza Place. <laughs> From the ABC Friday lineup of the 90s? <laughs> Probably. We didn't. <laughs> Do enough research for that. <laughs> oh, I watched it a lot growing up. Oh, did you really? I did, yeah. Wait, let's talk off air. I've got some very strong opinions. <laughs> <laughs> you probably, at this point, know way more than I do. I remember <laughs> Let's maybe... just say that Pizza Place is out of the picture by season four. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't they change it to like a, 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 a Shake Shack or something? What? <laughs> no, I'm, I don't know what they call it. Um, I just know Ryan Rim, uh, Reynolds. <laughs> Ryan Rim Rims. <laughs> Ryan Rim Rims. <laughs> yeah, so I did that Sunday night. Uh, Saturday night, I went to uh, Pussy Pop. Over at uh, Secret, Secret Group, Group yeah. yeah, real cool, cool set. It's representing my boy uh, Matt Graham, friend of the show, as Richard Swimmins with Space Cadets, also friends of the show. Now, what is Pussy Pot? Was that a dance party? Yeah, yeah. So there's a bunch of DJs doing different uh, cool, like themed DJ sets. There's Spice Boys. Uh, there was, <laughs> oh gosh, what were the other ones? Someone did like a Disney set that was really cool. Uh, it actually really? might have been my favorite set of the entire night. Wow. They just pulled a lot of like really good Disney samples. Kind of like that Pogo dude, but less uh, <laughs> angry. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's the word for it, yeah. angry. <laughs> um, that sounds awesome. Guys, that Pogo guy sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, look him up and don't listen to his music. Yeah. Um, it's Saturday night while you were at some dance party, uh, Cody and I went to the Dynamo game. Yeah, the Dynamo. Yeah. They played a Chicago Fire and we'll be talking about it on the next episode of our podcast. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> it's called uh, Is That a Foul? And, it'll and that be... drops every Monday? It drops every okay, Monday, cool. but it did not drop today. It will right. drop next week. Okay, and uh, just a reminder that this podcast drops every Tuesday. Yes, <laughs> just yes, to it make does. it easy for you guys. And uh, Trace Friends. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well drop on Thurs Friends. Yeah. Um, anyway. But that's in development, so let's not talk about it. Uh, and so, so, uh, uh, do you want me to hit the dump button? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit the dump All right, button. I'll hit the dump button. <laughs> now, no one listening at guys, home. Guys, we have this dump button just in case we leak any hot information. There's literally no one watching. <laughs> 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 Unless we leak any hot information. <laughs> on this podcast, um, what did you do Friday night? Friday night, <laughs> you and I went to uh, Two Headed Dog. Yes, we did. The bar. I got a nice coconut drink. Oh, it was so good. It was so good. I got the uh, the colada. It was, man, it was good. That's what Sm- I got. Smoked colada. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got that as well. So we I got, got the same thing. Last night. Or did I? I don't know. 
I've been to Two Headed Dog three times in the last like three really? days. I keep going back. I can't help myself. Guys, check it out. When did you go without me? Uh, I went because uh, we've Pussy been Pop. twice together. I went before Pussy Pop. Huh? Yeah. While well, Cody and I were at the game, like a <laughs> couple of chumps. <laughs> my friend, the game is in here. Listeners at home, I'm tapping on my head. It's true. <laughs> he is. All right. <laughs> now, <laughs> uh, but before, it, t- yeah. So, we, no, be- go ahead. Before you had a dog. We went to go see a play. A fantastic play. Ned, do you know what a play is? <laughs> do, do, you, do you know what a play is? Yes. Do you want me to define it on air? Please. Okay. Well, I don't actually, uh, I don't think our guest knows what it is, so you should explain it for him out loud. <laughs> ah, okay. A play, my dear boy. The theater. No, the theater, if you will. Um, it's like, uh, <laughs> you, you just had to be there. Lines right. and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> A performance on a stage in front of an audience. <laughs> uh, our our Bugs Bunny Daffy Duck <laughs> back and forth has finally come to an end. Uh, look, we 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 went to go see Speeding Motorcycle, uh, which was a I'd call it a rock opera based on the works of Texas musician Daniel Johnston. And speaking of Speeding Motorcycle, we have as our guest tonight. One of the actors from Speeding Motorcycle, which just wrapped up its run on Catastrophic Theater at Match Theater. Uh, everybody, please welcome Chuck Vaughn. Hey, Chuck, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty great, boys. Good to be here. <laughs> That's it. great. Listen, uh, we love to play, by the Word? way. Word? Yeah. yeah. Thanks yeah. for coming. It's fantastic. And I've, I've never heard you sing. It was I, great. <laughs> That's the number one thing people that have come to see it that I know said. Like, yeah. Chuck, I've never heard you sing. It's like, yeah, I don't. Often. Well, your singing was not my favorite part of your performance. Your fight scene. Oh, God, the choreography. Yeah, I almost just swore well, in there again. It not, effing <laughs> ruled. That fight scene was great. <laughs> now, Ned, I, I, Ch- Chuck, could you please tell Ned and I and the audience listening yes, at home, please. what was that character? Who did you play? So I was Captain America. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> but Is this an original IP or is this the Marvel Captain America itself? So I was Daniel Johnston's Captain America. <laughs> so you got uh, you got that Kirby, <laughs> you got your MCU, but sure, then sure. you got... Daniel Johnston, DJU, Captain America, the DJU, <laughs> and instead of Red Skull, instead of Thanos, Daniel Johnston's Captain America has to fight Satan. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> yeah, that's a way cooler villain than Red Skull <laughs> and Thanos. Yeah, I'd say so. Satan's scary. Hey, what happened to the stream? Uh, it just went out for a second. It's just a blip. Oh, okay. Let it, let it keep going. Uh, so Chuck. The play just ended. Do you want to start at the beginning or do you want to start at the end of this? How how many week run? Three week? Four week? Uh, we started on June the 27th and we ended yesterday, August the 4th. So that was a Damn. month and three weeks. So six, nine weeks, I think it was. That's such mm. a run. Wow. <laughs> Probably the longest run of anything scripted that I've ever been in. Yeah. Like wow. improv is different. Just making yeah. it up like, burr, burr, burr. You, know, yeah. you guys know how it goes. But <laughs> So... Okay, let's start at the end. You did it for nine weeks. Mm-hmm. How does it feel the day after it's all done? <laughs> yeah, this is your your first uh, evening. You know, there's a <laughs> there's a little bit of melancholy in me just knowing that I'm not going to be around that specific group of people. Yeah, uh, yeah. For that purpose again, like we'll probably all kick it soon. There's a party in September that I hope to make it to, but like. The context of it all, just the energy that comes with, all right, we're doing this show again, we're doing this show, we're yeah. singing these songs, we're doing these dance moves. It's We spent a lot of time together, and now all of a sudden we aren't again. So there's going to be some postpartum that comes with that. Like, yeah. Where are the 20 some odd people that i used to hang out with every day man i relate to that very much on top of having done theater productions also micro satan productions and mm-hmm. the tour itself yeah, even, yeah. Mm-hmm. was uh, the day that it ended i was overcome with just grief and sadness it felt weird it's something you'd be so excited about, but it's a, you know, yeah, you're, you're losing a like, little chunk. This like ugh. significant part of you. Like yesterday was the last show, and I don't know who didn't cry. Like uh. I, I held on until the very last song where we're all together on the lawn and clapping. And at the start of it, I was starting to tear up. I could feel it. And I was oh, like, yeah, whatever, stage. whatever, I'll, I'll, this is happening right now. 
but there was a woman in the audience that was looking me dead in the eye <laughs> and she was starting to cry oh. and like she was looking at me start to cry and she was starting to cry it's like i can't cry if she's crying i have to let her cry so somehow all my tears like sucked back up <laughs> go back to clapping yeah it was it was a good performance but the mic did pick up just <laughs> <laughs> and i was like huh what the hell <laughs> Hey, I wanted to talk about those head mics. Those things are crazy. I've never seen microphones like that. The mm -hmm. yeah, are those comfortable? Or are they like do they push into you at all? No, um, they're just taped on, and it's a it's a little wire, and yeah. attached to it is just a piece of elastic tied in a knot, like Boy okay. Scout style. Like I don't know what your knot game is like, but. <laughs> Granny and square. <laughs> pretty pretty basic knot just to keep it on your head. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know when what night y'all came, but by the end of the run, uh, the last two weeks, I was kind of experimenting with where I put my microphone <laughs> because I'm a pretty loud singer and didn't, I won't say I didn't need the microphone, but. We noticed that. You had it on your tongue the whole time. <laughs> I mean, just trying different things, trying to get it to pick up as great as possible. Yeah. <laughs> and there was a night where I had it like right on the bridge of my nose, like <laughs> hugging my eyeball. And it was actually. Every time you blink, it's like. <laughs> it was actually this past Thursday, and the director, one of the directors of the show came back and she looked at me and she saw how ridiculous I looked. I'm like, what are you doing? She was like, what? Because customarily after a show starts, it's out of the director's hands right. and it's up to the people that are on stage and behind like making it happen to make sure it happens yeah, as it's it was rehearsed. So no one had ever seen me with my microphone like, on my face, <laughs> but I'm wearing this mask and I'm trying to make sure that my microphone is clear of it all. So I'm messing around with it, and that night, honestly, was the best that the microphone yeah? ever picked. Wow! It up. I didn't put it in that same spot again because I looked absolutely ridiculous and like get picked up by the, the microphone. Yeah. Like, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. So uh, the microphones aren't too bad. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm used to like the Britney Spears across the chin, like show <laughs> me mic. how you want it. I, I am me. dying for a headset mic. We want them in a swimmer department real bad. And I saw it. Did you? You did a Miller Outdoor Theater mm -hmm. recently, and you guys had those mics because mm -hmm. Matt was wearing one. And I was like, what the hell? That what was that? Uh, what were you doing at Miller? Uh, Matt Graham and I, a few people from Station. This year, Kelly Juno. Yeah. She's been on here, Ron. Yeah. Friend yeah. These are all friends of the show. Yeah, show. Kelly Juno has been with us this year uh, in collaboration with the Express Children's Theater. Um, they have a week every summer where they put on shows for kids and summer programs to just come out for free and see some theater and enjoy the Herman Park and all of that. Yeah. So... Together two two years ago, so this would be the third time that we did it. Um, we put together a play that is completely improvised. Like it has a skeleton, it has a story structure, but we get suggestions from the kids at the beginning to determine exactly what happens and who it happens to. And from there, we improvise a musical. We have a lovely pianist. Uh, it's either been Faith Fawcett or David LaDuca. And this is so fun. They I think pretty... there was this, like, uh, involved. Mm -hmm. like, I thought it was just, like, improv, improv. Like, it was like, great. <laughs> uh, it's improv with a pianist yeah. and children yelling at us <laughs> with the things that they want to happen. You, <laughs> you have to please the kids. Now, now, you've done a lot of improv. I've seen you on stage millions of times. And you're probably no stranger to just like the most frequent thing that's yelled out by audience members is like wiener or like something dumb like like there's there's mm. things that you always get from audience trump members. what what do uh, what is the <laughs> most man <laughs> what's the difference man like, oh, god i wish i did improv <laughs> no uh what what is the most like what does every kid suggest what is the most frequent suggestion you get from children um Batman. Batman really? Hell yeah. <laughs> like, uh, take that, MCU. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, DC's trying to make all these dark movies. Make some freaking kids flicks. Yeah. The funnest children's show that I ever had, we did it for private school, and I ended up being Lego Batman specifically. They wanted <laughs> <What>? Lego Batman. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> at the start of the show, we have like an audition. All the actors that are involved, we take suggestions from the kids. And I don't remember what I asked. I may have asked what your favorite toy was or what's something that you liked or what's the last movie that you saw. And the kids said Lego Batman. And <laughs> For every um, answer. Yeah. We have a rack. <laughs> of, yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> we have a rack of assorted costume pieces that we grab and we put together these ridiculous costumes to become the thing that the kids suggested. So it could be like Banana Split or Lego <laughs> Batman or a school bus. And based on that thing, we'll put together some crazy costumes. Oh, when you and, said that, I thought you had a school bus. You were naming three costumes you had. Oh, no. Hand. I was like, those are three very weird. <laughs> no, it'd be like yeah, okay. So you put it yeah, a yellow cape or something in like a black hat. Like yeah. I'm a school bus. Ah, <laughs> you just gotta make it work. You just yeah. gotta make it work. Okay, that's great. You gotta improvise. You gotta improvise. <laughs> Man, I bet those kids really love it. Yes, and I look ridiculous, <laughs> but they love it. Now, uh, fourth beating motorcycle. Did you have to audition, or were you handpicked? Um, I got hit up by sweet friend Joe Folidori, ah. yeah. and they had done auditions, and they were still looking for people. So he hit me up. He said, hey, uh, I was talking to a friend of mine, and we both thought about you for this position, for this part to be in this play in some capacity. Um, I don't know if you sing at all. And I was like, well, I might. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so I met up with the two directors, Tamari Cooper and Jason Nodler, uh, on a Sunday. Just rode my bike up there, hung out. And the audition, uh, what they wanted for the audition was for me to interpret a Daniel Johnston song in any way that I liked. And on paper, that sounds really simple, but I'd never heard of Daniel Johnston up to this uh, point. Yeah. So. Uh, Joe, a great friend, uh, recommended some songs to me to listen to, and I listened to a couple, and I got one, and I memorized it the best I could in two days, just repeating it on Spotify. I had it on, like, when I went to sleep, it was the last thing I woke oh. up to. I mean, it was the last thing I heard when I went to sleep, then I woke up, and it turned off, because my phone's smart like that, and not killing my battery. <laughs> Thanks, Samsung. Um... Then I did it, and I didn't feel the most confident about it because I was kind of like dancing around and trying to remember the words of this song and like stay on pitch and like have these four people, Joe included, watching me from this audience by themselves. Oh, uh, that's crazy. <laughs> and they were very kind, and they asked me if I had another song that I could possibly sing like more confidently, like more comfortably that I knew off the top of my head, and. I've been in Greece in two different points in my life, once in high school and once my first time in college. It, it in was Greece 1 and Greece 2 in sequence. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, man. I was really mad, but that's a different conversation about how San Jacinto College decided to repeat my last two years of high school with their productions. Um, <laughs> wow. So, you here first. <laughs> Come out of San Jack. If you are San Jack, go ahead and call yeah, in. Yeah, why don't you call it at 713-526-8737. Jeeks, you owe me freaking cokes a lot of them all right fine <laughs> all i'm saying budget. is it's, there's no way possible that you just randomly happen to go from doing greece to annie in that order oh, no. my last two years of high school and my first two years at san jack like come on like, do you think that they did it specifically because of you I don't. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that. They saw I, what are you saying, Chuck? <laughs> I'm just saying that I would have liked to do some new work personally, like something I hadn't done before. Yeah, mm, I've and had it was a takes wild on this show. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, not no, too you, spicy. You dodged being in like the Susical. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they did do Susical like yeah, the see, next yeah. year, and I was already done. But um, is there a musical that you would love to be in? Ooh, yeah. Mm, Directors, listen up. Because Ned and I have a musical oh. we'd like to pitch you. Oh, yes. Yes. This is a musical. This is the first musical that uh, brought Ned and I together to hang out. Yeah. Uh, so it's called Newsies. Yes. Uh, neither of us have seen it. I've heard of it. Is it about the news? Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, have you heard the news? Uh, the good about news. The, <laughs> about some reporters or something that tell the news. It's about uh, people who deliver the news. Oh, the newsboy. Those the who news receive boys. it. And those who read it. Yeah, I'm it's, all about it's kind anyone. of every part. It's yeah. like the newspaper is a character in a way. Yes, and yes. And it brings everybody together to 
<laughs> to read the news. So here's the thing. It's an odd couple situation, but the odd couple is the news and the paper itself. I mean, they could never agree. <laughs> huh. <laughs> you the know? paper has a stance, and it does just not yeah. tell with the facts. I'm going to print this differently. <laughs> It's kind of a speech on the times. Yeah, it sounds like what's going on today. Like, yeah. yeah. That's I was kind of getting very exactly current, current, current event vibes. Because Ned and I, we were reading the news, and I said, <laughs> have you seen the news? This is bupkis. We got to say, we got to make a statement about the news. We got to write our own op-ed about the news for Broadway, baby. Chuck. Chucky V. You want to be in our musical? Do you want to be in Newsies? Well, that depends. I was. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Well, what is he? <clears throat> but you're not pointing at my diaper from earlier, are you? <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> okay. no, no, no. Just making sure. I was trying depends to not draw what. attention to that. So. <laughs> the mic picks up everything. <laughs> okay. I, I do your show, but only if I can talk in an old time voice like this. You better believe you can, shucks, buddy. <laughs> Hell, if you didn't, you'd be fired. <laughs> well, here's the scoop, fellas. You got yourself an actor. Ah, now you're on the trolley. <laughs> <laughs> Ring a ding ding, no rooms in this town. Only the news. <laughs> now, we need a budget. Um, so that's oh. your job. Oh. And... Chuck, can you Venmo us? Like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what was the budget for speeding motors? Oh, like, we need like 40 bucks, I guess. No. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, uh, I, we wanted to talk about the first thing we said when we walked out of that play was the set design was oh incredible. Oh, my God. Speeding motors. I like, got you commented on the, the curtain opening. As soon as the curtains open and the stage is just surround, uh, it's full of every actor, all in different colored shirts, all playing the same uh, chord on the acoustic guitar. Mm -hmm. It was, I, man, I, I, I definitely some endorphins just shot straight out of my brain into my body. It was bananas to see that on stage. I loved it. It was bananas every night seeing the reaction, like, uh, because it starts and there's one guy, then another guy yeah. comes and he looks kind of the same, and then the third guy comes yeah. and he's a little older, but they all pretty much look the same. Then the curtain opens and you can just see the people in the audience like, <gasps> like it's be taken a back by like, like, yeah. whoa. Like, and for those listening at home, uh, Chuck's eyes got very big and very he looked big. quite surprised. <laughs> It's like much, a cool much like he will be uh, when he reads the first line of the news at the opening scene of Newsies. Yeah. <laughs> Above the fold, Chuck Vaughn <laughs> cast his lead and weird play. He, he reads the first line of the news, which is they're phasing out the news, <laughs> and he goes, "Blah!" And then some. Kid... I gotta tell the boys the only way I know how through song and newspaper. <laughs> some kid rolls in on one of those mono wheels, looking at red. It's like, "Hey, dude, <laughs> see the front page today?" <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay. You subscribe to all, bro? Alt, bro? <laughs> no, all. What's all? R slash all. It's literally every subreddit on Reddit. In, oh. On one page. Okay, like I don't everything. see. Everything. Okay, so here's the big secret. Cats out of the bag. <laughs> oh, no, no. We were going to make it to 100 episodes. <laughs> no, I don't do Reddit. <laughs> oh, Period. God. Period. <laughs> we're done. I don't even read Reddit. Like half the time you send me articles on Reddit, I just click it, I glance, I'm like, I am not reading all five hundred <laughs> oh, you don't have to read the, you don't have to read the, the, for the link. <laughs> I just I, I sort by hot or controversial. I don't get it. I it, 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 at this point there's so much content on Reddit that Google's the exact same thing. <laughs> what, but I your... don't have to read friggin' comments. But that's the joy of it, is the weird subreddit. What's your favorite subreddit, Chuck? Or what what do you what do you see your choice ones? I got it a list for you, buddy. <laughs> it depends because any time that I have a new interest, I'll immediately True. look to see yeah. if there's a subreddit for it. Like this Gundam game I started playing. The game, the day the game came out, somebody on Reddit made a guide. Like they compiled all the, the information that everyone that had been playing the game had put out there and put it in one place. This Man. is what Reddit's all about. That's what baby. Reddit's all about. Yeah, like, you can name countless countless reddits and subreddits that you love name five restaurants <laughs> in houston that you love <laughs> and support name five local artists i don't like any restaurants in houston except, <laughs> except for that wing place that's opening in the corner wait a second 
Are yeah. you talking about Wings over Houston? Okay, do you know about Wings of Houston in the corner? So is it I've wings walked by it Houston? twice. Wings of Houston. Houston. I want it to be Wings over Houston. And if it was Wings over Houston, that. that'd be wild. Like, yeah, that'd be a cool day. Bro. That'd be a Buffalo Wild Wings. The week. Air Force opens up the, the restaurant. Yeah, Wings drop onto unsuspecting people. Yeah. <laughs> it's in Montrose, so probably a lot of vegetarians are just getting hit with stray chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> Bad business. I'm just imagining mm-hmm. someone posting on Facebook like, there are chicken wings falling <laughs> from the sky. I'm being attacked. <laughs> I feel personally attacked. All right. I'd feel it's attacked. Battery. I'd like wings and I'd be attacked. It's <laughs> battery with <laughs> battered wings. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. Bowling. So, this uh, restaurant, are you familiar with it? Not at all. all I right, walked okay. by it. Actually, wait. We have a segment for this. We need to do this segment right now. All right. It's very on. important. <laughs> this is Ned's segment, by the way. He this, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Uh, everything good? Yes. Okay. Ready? Damn it. I told you. I asked you if it was queued up to the right part. Just let it keep playing. Just let it keep playing. People will figure out the joke by then. Not yet. Oh, no. This drum feels very good. Oh, no. Okay, I, think I know what's yeah, happening. Right a wing a watch 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 we we want some wings guys welcome to wing watch we're turn off the music please okay uh, we've been really? really excited about this wing place opening. Really? <laughs> what? <laughs> you, you're telling me you didn't save a moment for wing? Okay, we talk about this, and it's a whole thing. It's Chuck. a segment intro. Maybe on the last day <laughs> with okay, the okay. store. Okay, so let's talk. Okay, so wing we still got to close out the segment, so it could come back. <laughs> so Wing Watch, there is a wing place three doors down from this station that's opening. Connor and I, as effing Ragers, are wing... Fin- I, do you like wings? Are you a wingman? Have you listened to any of the first 50 episodes of this show? <laughs> Could we talk about wings <laughs> on most of them? I, I'm i a fan of wings. but okay. I Hell like, yeah. Welcome to Wing it. Watch, man. <laughs> okay, what's up? What's up? <laughs> okay, so I just watched my first episode of Hot Ones like a few days ago. I love that What show? episode did you watch? Uh, Vince Staples. Ooh, oh, okay. How do you do? Very knowledgeable about wings. <laughs> Ooh, okay. yeah, he made the hood proud. Did you did you uh, see the episode with DJ Khaled? No, uh, Vince, uh, that was my first episode. Watch the one with DJ Khaled. It's very very fun. Does he use any of his catchphrases? Uh, <laughs> he, Endlessly, he, he used a bunch, and then he created a new one that Ooh. said, "I'm not quitting. I just know my limit. I'm <laughs> not quitting. I just know." <laughs> did he ever say "wing the best"? <laughs> He yelled it with food <laughs> all in his mouth. Wing, wing the best! <laughs> so, right. Wing Watch, we are excited about this wing place, and we want to, every week, call in and just kind of, like, check in on this place. We're not we're not going to call in this week, but maybe we should call in, we actually call the place. Can we make outgoing calls from here? Oh, shoot. Yeah, I think we can. can. I think uh, I honestly think we can. I don't. Yeah. I don't think anyone's there for the phone line, but we'll just keep it. You know, keep it in mind. All right, let's try it. Let's try it. Do you want to try calling them right now? Yeah. Do you okay. have their phone number? Uh, I do not. <laughs> Go to. It's on Facebook. Okay, Remember, right. we found it. All right. Ned, uh, Ned's gonna look that See, up. See, people are commenting on here. I knew it. Yeah, I was noticing we were having some uh, technical okay. issues. Guys, here. I'm sorry we haven't replied to any of your comments. Our thing's been down. Okay. Uh. They're talking. They're talking. There are a lot of people on the roof. Jesus Christ, Superstar is the best musical. I agree, Veek. Oh, man, I wish I didn't <laughs> just get these comments just now. Chuck for the wings and high pitch. Yeah, see, we, we wanted there to we do go. that. Ah, crud. Okay, ah. guys, I'm sorry. I don't know why this is happening. I'm afraid to refresh this and lose the live video. Hey, that makes sense. That it's makes all sense. Zuckerberg's uh, fault. Here, I'm going to open this. We're going to do this one. All right. Connor, why don't you talk about what we know about the wing place right now for Wing Watch? All right, Wings of Houston. Uh, it was established in 2019. <laughs> this is all information that is on the sign. Uh, what else do we got about? So, so that is part of the Wing Watch thing. We went by there the other day, and they had hours up. They did. The, have the door hours had up. a new sign on it, so we know it's going to. Actually, I didn't even look at the hours. <laughs> I saw it and got really excited. And They're open forgot. from uh, 11 to 10, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Man, my ideal wing restaurant, hmm. it, it it says it's open at 10 9 a.m. Mm-hmm. to question mark. You there know, we the go. party keeps going. Or it could close at 5. <laughs> you don't know. 
I, I so what this segment is supposed to be is we're gonna give you every update we can find about this restaurant because the it day used it to be opens. mangoes. Yes. Then it used to be Biscuit Junkie. Yes. And then it used to be... That Creole place. Like Podnas. Place. Podnas. And Ned and I talked about Podnas all the time. I we wanted never to go. I never had a can. Yeah. We, we went once. It, it was, was a, a purple building. Week. That's my favorite color. <laughs> no, My friend... Now it's not purple it anymore. It is not purple anymore. Okay. Wings of Houston. Wing Watch. This is a Wing Watch right now, guys. All right. Wings Wing of Houston Watch. has one review on Google Maps. One review. It is a four-star review that says... Give they're me the not, phone number. They're not open. Open yet? Pretty excited about it. Give me the it. phone number. Is that not phone you? Phone number is 713-505-1030. I don't think you can call. <laughs> Wait, turn that off. <laughs> Wait, yeah. I'm fucked. I'm, I'm Don, Don is up. watching a stream. He's probably screaming at you from his computer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think Don's pretty happy with all the chaos I'm bringing. That's pretty good. <laughs> I, I, th I think he's pretty happy with me. Ah, oh, man. Human. What are people saying? You're a human R slash streetwear. Oh, thanks. Hey, wait, could somebody Britain. call Wing the Future? I am subscribed okay, to okay, R okay. streetwear. Uh, Stacy said, what would you be if you were a subreddit? Guys, if... let's go around the table. R slash what? Okay. <sighs> uh, I would be R slash jorts. <laughs> jorts? Yeah. Actually, I've almost taken a year off of wearing jorts, like, out in public. I haven't really been uh, repping the jort game. Okay. I feel kind of bad about it. I'd be the subreddit's uh, dead. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd be our party animal, cause you know me, buddy. Um, I do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, either that, or if not party animal, um, nope. I'd be our just southern thing. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 I think that's my perfect subreddit. What about you? Uh, I'd be either. R real wee bowers <laughs> or R sensual sensitive giant robot. Ooh, I like Iron Giant. You mean? <laughs> yeah, exactly. R Iron Giant. Hey, listeners, what's your subreddit? Uh, go ahead and call in at seven one three five two six eight seven three seven, or just tell us in the comments, and we'll read it. Uh, whatever you think your personal subreddit would be, and if you're feeling real wild. Go ahead and tweet at us at <laughs> F and Rager, and we'll give that baby an RT. What do we got? More? We comments? got another question that we missed: is uh, what are your favorite wing flavors? Now we've talked about we this have little talked about the show, this. so we're just gonna go around the table real fast, lightning round. Okay. Buffalo wild wings, spicy garlic. Uh, oh God! We can't do lightning round if you pick all the good ones. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best flavor. Well, second place is Mountain Dew. <laughs> Wait, did we get those together? We did. Those are miserable. Have you ever had Mountain Dew wings? Not. I would never. They lasted a day, uh, and then the FDA personally came and took them out of the restaurant. <laughs> finally, the government does something right. <laughs> yeah, they brought it to uh, Area 51, which is why we're storming yeah, the place. That's why we're going. <laughs> I don't know if I could Naruto run for the in the name of Mountain Dew Wings. I might have to retract my acceptance. I'm not going Let's to put down our swords. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm Naruto running for anymore. <laughs> See, that Naruto run is all smoke and mirrors for the true thing that Ned and I are doing. Oh. Wolverine run. Nani? We're going to put pens in between all of our fingers <laughs> and Naruto run. The government won't know what to do. <laughs> like, I don't know what they're doing, man. And they're just shooting around. Yeah, we'll be fine. I keep trying to shoot him, but he's knocking the bullets away and going, shing, 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 as he sees his hands. <laughs> he's calling me bug. All right. Uh, did we ask you your wing Yeah, flavor? what's your wig? Flavor? Anything wet and anything hot. <laughs> Hell yeah! I don't like dry wings. I Ooh. need them wet. Have you had the Louisiana dry rub, though? That's one of my tops. Nah, <laughs> oh, at Wingstop? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's I need really, it wet really and really sloppy. Good. Like. No, wait. Louisiana dry play. rub is uh, uh, Wingstop. No, it's, wait. Yes, it's Wingstop. Yeah, it's, it's Wingstop. Uh, Lindsay said she did go to Pondas. Uh, she went on Mardi Gras. And danced to some Zydeco music and ate some sorry ass king cake. Oh! <laughs> Lindsay is so cool. <laughs> Podnas is dead. Anyways, guys, Podnas is dead. That's been Wing Watch for this week. Hit the theme again. Okay, hang on. <laughs> 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 Alright, thanks guys. That's been Wing Watch. <laughs> wow. Oh we should do more segments. Tune in next week, if only for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're one of our new listeners because of Chuck, um, that's what the show is. <laughs> I don't I don't really have pull. 
like. I think you do have a poll. There's a lot of people commenting at the top that were like, Chuck is OP. We have 12 viewers. Man, people do not like us. (laughs) 12 viewers. That's really great, Chuck. Listen, another reason I wanted to bring you on the show... We were going to talk about Nintendo versus Sega. Yeah, we were. Now that you've got a lot of free time, you have a lot of time to play video games. And hopefully you're going to play the only video games that really matter. Nintendo games, right? Well. What? (laughs) Well. Nani. (laughs) (laughs) Nani. I actually don't play any console games anymore i've become one of those filthy you only do mobile games i only do mobile games because of the convenience and i also will watch like competitive fighting gameplay on youtube and twitch would you do even though amazon owns switch and we're not banging with amazon like that it's not a call to action that's an opinion (laughs) <laughs> yeah, that's right. No calls to action on this show. Yeah, <laughs> I know the rules. I've been on the radio. <laughs> Clearly, you know better than us. <laughs> um, okay, so would you do like a Game Boy or what do you got? <laughs> Stacy said R slash Josh Groban fan scenes. <laughs> oh, accurate. Um, there's always emulators, even though yeah. they're illegal. <laughs> Yeah, don't do that. <clears throat> yes, don't do that. Don't don't get an emulator on oh, your wait, smartphone. Oh wait, hang on a second. That is a call to action. No call to action. Do uh, no call to action. Do whatever you want. You are an autonomous thinking thing. So says the philosopher You're Descartes. Telling them once again to do. And I agree. Uh, but hey, <laughs> if you want to go to Zenith, <laughs> that's up to you, man. Not my lawn. Not my not business. Not my lawn. Not my table. All right. But so. what 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 is your tables? Is because clearly there's a there's a an argument here. Is it Nintendo or Sega? Where do you stand? Um, Sega was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm willing to Actually, hear this out. Yeah, okay, I'm willing I'll to hear, hear this that out. out. I'll hear that Be- out. Because Connor told me this before we left the house, saying he was like, oh, Chuck and I are going to argue, but oh, wait, wait, we got Hang on, we got a phone call. Oh, hey, snap. you're on FM Rager. Hello? Hashtag Sega gang. Hey, uh, you know, in every great war or story, there are three sides. We all know that, don't we? Oh, yeah. Sure, yeah. Nintendo, Sega. Is someone and... going to talk about. S- Say it. <laughs> well, hey, this is Kenneth. I'm the social media marketer for the Turbo Graphic 16 Mini. <laughs> Uh, and I thought maybe we should all mention the 300-pound elephant that's in the room, or if they're heavier, that's, well, that's I'm sorry. fine, too. Wait, I, I have, can you say the name of this game system again? It's the Turbo Graphics 16. 16. Uh, Did you say this is 300 pounds? No. I was saying in the <laughs> argument this is like the 300-pound the gorilla in yeah. the room no one wants to bring up. I Keep understand. Keep up, okay. man. Come on. Sorry, Even I know phrases. No, I... <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Please go on, Kenneth. It anamorphed from an elephant to a gorilla. I just, you know, heard y'all talking about emulation and Nintendo and Sega, and I just it's thought it was a disservice to, you know, our fine gaming community uh, that the TurboGrafx-16 and our new product for 2019, the TurboGrafx-16... Yes, you've said the name <laughs> several times. What does it do? Is it a game system? What games does it have? Um, <laughs> have you heard of a little game called... <laughs> Wait, what's it called? I'm sorry, did you say you, you're talking about Pong? Pong? Uh, it's called Bong. Bong, like B O N G? Like B O N K. Oh, Bong. Oh. Okay, it's Bonk. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not really familiar with Bonk. Is that like whacking uh, gophers on the head with a little stick? Bonk is a prehistoric child with an abnormally large head. Chuck, do you know this game? <laughs> I'm just thinking about Adam West Batman. Bonk? <laughs> bonk. Bonk. <laughs> okay, okay look, so, you, so you have Bonk. Selling, maybe I'm not selling Bonk. Um, but let's talk about some of the other classes on the show. <laughs> I just looked up Bonk. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. We Googled Bonk game on the, uh, the studio computer here. <laughs> this, this bald little krill in Hey, can you, can, you play, uh, can you search Bonk theme on Google and play the Bonk theme while we talk to uh, Kenneth here? Bonk theme. Okay, so so I what mean, is the bonk theme is a fantastic piece of musical achievement. What what does the Turbo Graphics uh, sixteen the have? Theme. Super bonk. What does the Turbo Graphics sixteen oh, wait, have? I, over I got Nintendo? it. I got it. I got it. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Turn that down a little bit so we can still hear Kenneth here. 
Yeah, I like to bonk. Uh, watch me bonk. I bet you didn't know the song had lyrics. <laughs> no, we did didn't. not. They're not on the video. This isn't uh, the lyric video. Yeah, your TurboGrafx-16 can't put out song lyrics. Is apparently. this Kenneth's YouTube channel? <laughs> Yeah. So, Kenny, I mean, did you know that Super Mario doesn't pay his child support? <laughs> I didn't know he had a child, even. I'm not surprised. He has more than one. He's baby Mario. No, oh. baby Mario is Mario. It's a baby. Oh, is that uh, the lore? I, I believe so. Well, I know I know Brothers in Time, uh, where they meet the baby versions of themselves, they technically have to raise themselves. That's not important. Look, TurboGrafx-16, what makes it better than Nintendo and Sega? You got 30 seconds, buddy. Uh, super descriptive game title names such as Dungeon Explorer. Ooh. Okay. Power Golf. Okay. And Bonk. And, and Bonk and Psychosis. Which no, is just okay, no, I don't think that's like Psychosis is very descriptive. Time. We did it before Pokemon. Ooh. Wait, what did you have what before Pokemon? What did you Pokemon? do before Pokemon? We had a seizure-inducing flashing screen. Okay, oh, I can't support oh, the, no, nice. I cannot support something that's going to make people say, cut this guy off. <laughs> Sorry, Kenneth, goodbye. Okay, no, Sorry, the argument Kenneth. still stands. Nintendo versus Sega, no turbo graphic, whatever. All right, and while you think about it... Um... Yeah, turn that bonk theme song. <laughs> <on. laughs> that's the only good thing that came out of that. <laughs> Sega flew too close to the sun oh. too soon with the Sega Dreamcast. Truth. Like, PS2, I mean, PlayStation came out right after, just took over the market. And I think about it every day as I sing City Escape from Sonic Adventure 1 <laughs> to myself. Thinking about what could have been with Sega. The graphics were so, like, that had, like, a high frame rate, didn't it? Or so, something about it looked, like, so fluid compared the to the Sega Dreamcast had dial-up internet. You could plug your phone into the Dreamcast and, like, look on. Look, you, <laughs> like, call people. <laughs> I was on Newgrounds on my Dreamcast, bro. That's so insane. Like. Hey, what was that game where you were, like, a jester? And it was, like, Knights. 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 It was just called Knights? It was Knights. Yeah. I spent all these years trying to remember the name of a game called Knights, and I was like, it's something Knights. I think it started it, off. Look it it was up. just Knights. Just Google Knights. <laughs> Google Dreamcast Knights. Game. Yeah. <laughs> I think it started off nah, as a mini game in one of the Sonic it, games, it like original... Sonic Pinball or oh, something. I don't know about that. I just remember it was on Sega Saturn. Before Maybe the then. other way around. You know, Sega Saturn. Sega Saturn's pretty wild too. I we're never about, like... played the Sega Saturn. Was the Saturn and the Dreamcast were both like ahead of their time. Yeah, and then really? they fell off completely. I, I can't remember if Saturn or if uh, uh, blah, 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 Sega. Yeah, Saturn. Wait, which one's the one that could like connect to the internet? That wasn't Dreamcast. Was there one between those? There was like Sega Nokia Satellite. Nokia Engage? <laughs> Wait, Engage. Is Sega, is Sega, I wanted one so bad. Is Sega Satellite a thing? Sega Satellite? Am I thinking of something different? Um, it sounds cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give, give that a Google. <laughs> you know. Uh, maybe I'm just like imagining things or some kid on the playground lied to me. That's this how where, like a lot of my facts come from. <laughs> that's how Sega wins the console Wait. wars. It stops making consoles and just makes a okay. laser satellite. It just think, makes a gun. <laughs> I think I found what's going on here. Sega Channel. It's the Sega Channel. Okay, what was that? It was an online game service developed by Sega for the Genesis video game Ooh, console. Genesis serving as a content online? delivery system launching in December 1994. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Ooh, real so OG stuff. Uh, oh, wait. Criticized for its poorly timed launch and high subscription fee. Boo. Yeah. It ends up the working class. <laughs> I mean, it's 1994. What you want? <laughs> it was a pay-to-play service through which customers could access Genesis games online, play game demos, and get cheat code. Yeah, wow. I feel like my neighbor had Sega Channel and played a game where, like, it changed one day from when we were playing it to the next day because they were just, like, they rolled out a different version of the game. It was, oh, like, bizarre. wow. Look at yeah, this, yeah, yeah, I remember those. Math guy. What a ripoff of Mr. Game & Watch. Oh, That's a wow. ripoff of the Engage yeah, <laughs> of N+. Oh. oh, my goodness. <laughs> I do remember there was a, 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 a uh, Sega had a, like, a Game Boy of theirs. They had just like a portable Sega uh, Genesis, I suppose. Ooh, oh, Shouts so out Josh. to Josh with the knowledge on Sega over there. Sega CD, then Saturn, then the, then the cast. I yeah, guess Anton. Josh was a Sega kid. Yeah, I oh, was... him and I talked about uh, uh, Seaman. What is that game <laughs> was? <laughs> no, I'm saying it's Seaman. Seaman. No, it's called Seaman. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, this one had multiples, multiplayer. Yeah, that, that weird fish that just like raises you. <laughs> uh, Don said, uh, 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 Clockwork Knights, Bug Two, and Knights was Bug Two bug the Bugdom like sequel weird game. 
bug? Bug tube two T O O. Can you look that up real quick? Hey, we're getting some computer time on this t- this game. I'm loving this. Game Gear. Yeah, we're moving into. The, I didn't uh, know a lot of Dreamcast games, and I'm like loving all these games. Listen, Bug the demo two. disc for Dreamcast was hardcore. You had Power Stone. You had uh, that shooting zombie game, House of House of the Living Dead, Night of the Living yeah, Dead, yeah, yeah, like yeah. House, of House of the Dead. That was so. Yes, yeah. You had like four different characters. You had like a martial arts guy. You had like your typical American gun dude. You had your <laughs> cute lady, and then somebody else, like an ugly guy or something. You had to represent everybody. But yeah, I remember oh, Bug Two. Okay, I I. I I got Bug 2 pulled up right here. This does sound mm. interesting. It sounds like a very good uh, vehicle for how to move a video game story along. The background plot involves popular action film stars Bug, Maggot Dog, and Superfly being signed for a six-picture deal with all six movies being filmed in a single day. So that sounds like each level is just a different movie. Oh, it's fun. That's like, like the Animaniacs uh, Or like Gex. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I like Gex. Gex is tight. <laughs> I feel like nobody else liked Gex. Gex and Busby, two I, I read the, franchises uh, I like, uh, are critically wait, panned. Busby? Tony Busby? <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> My favorite. Uh, <laughs> maybe I'm thinking of Bubsy. <laughs> that weird cat with the shirt on. Oh, oh I know what you're talking about. I, I read the uh, novelization of Gex <laughs> that I got from a Scholastic book. Wow! Fan. Did you guys ever read like a video game book? <laughs> Yes. yes okay. I oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what book? <laughs> um, I read uh, the first uh, Fable <laughs> book. It wasn't a novelization. It just took place within the Fable world. I, I read. I read. Uh, I played. I'll be on. A lot of uh, uh, Forgotten Realms, like video games. Wow. Like like uh, Baldur's Gate and stuff like that. So I definitely read the like Drift Stewart and books, which weren't novelizations of. I mean, it's just all D and D. It just took stuff. place within the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, what about you, Chuck? You read um... game novelizations. <laughs> I can't say novels, but I was really into the dot hack animes. Ooh. And like that whole franchise, like many, was just made to sell video games. I never watched that show, but I remember the, dot game, hack the character designs were crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I had dot hack infection, the first one. Ooh. So I grew up I could not keep up. I got so many emails. <laughs> I couldn't read all the emails that you get in game. Oh man, I cannot stand games Who? where people email SSX three, people like text you to race. I didn't know <laughs> that. Race. Yeah, I, I like checked my text one day and it was like, oh dang it, guys, I was sleeping. <laughs> how <laughs> how wanted to race. How are you gonna get a kid to to dive headfirst into this multi game franchise if they gotta read just emails? <laughs> like, no, I wanna fight. It's already a JRPG. <laughs> Nothing's going on in that game. I'm getting some shouts out to Perso- Persona. Persona. Uh, You're a Persona guy, aren't you? Um, I played Persona 4 Arena. I had a roommate that played the Persona games, and I would like watch her struggle. I, m- I might just associate the music with you. I feel like oh, when I see yeah. you riding what? your bike, I hear the Persona. Dun, 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 like, dun, 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 what are the Persona dun, 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 games? I know Rahul, friend of the show, he's a big Persona head, and I, maybe I tune him out when he talks about it. Maybe yeah, he's never race. talked about it. But what are the Persona games? Um, Persona is pretty similar to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure in that you Youth are given like ethereal, like magical companions. Companions, not the word I'm looking for. Like they're bound to one another and they have powers. Soulmates. Soulmates. Yeah, they have <laughs> these crazy soulmates that like do their bidding, and they can fight each other with them. Dope. And the newest Persona, I think, is like a murder mystery type of game, but it's a series where they take a concept and like put it in a different context. Oh, so that's fun. I don't know how well like they Like the Archer like, show. Yeah, exactly like <laughs> Archer and all this coma stuff. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. So, let's put this idea in a different point of time. It's the maybe, 90s wait, now. Maybe Newsy should be in space. <laughs> Ooh, space news. Hell yeah. Featuring Reddit. Have you heard the I, news from me? I am it's a big zero G. <laughs> <laughs> I am a big fan of, so with dramas that run for a really long time, you can have actual natural character development and get yeah. into like how a person functions. Look at Scrubs. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> now with, uh, uh, with comedy, you can't really do that. Like if you if if a character takes a left turn, people aren't going to really respond well, and you might end up killing the character off. So the way that Archer is doing it, and the way that these Persona games seem to be doing it, I think that's a brilliant way to shake up a comedy that's been on for like six seven years. 
I don't know. Yeah, throw it in a new I'm environment. I'm just throwing that out. I there. don't know if Persona is a comedy. Is it a comedy? Is it comedic? Mm, I wouldn't say. Well, so. I'm just saying that it sounds like the same way to like take a a, a a story and you're just like, hey, let's put it in a heist movie this time around. Yeah, and they have personas like that. Sounds cool. Man, wake me up when Persona's steampunk. <laughs> I mean, is it yet? There's still time. <laughs> We have another like four years on the world, so yeah, that's there's about, a, that's plenty about... of time for a steampunk persona. Are you into steampunk? Do you have a steampunk persona? Yo, listen, I actually do not bang with steampunk at all because <laughs> I I volunteered at Comic Palooza one of the first years it was ever a thing, and I I was actually still attending San Jack College at the time, and they were doing like we just did Evil Dead the musical, and they were doing oh. it at Wait, were Comic you in? I was, yeah, I was the voice of Professor Nobi. That rules. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was pretty cool, but I was really upset because they didn't just record my voice and oh. let me like, yeah, you had to, I, thought you were, I was there. I thought you were going to say because you had just done it in high school. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Listen, that would have been nuts. I would probably n- not be alive. Just... <laughs> um... No, but I do not bang with the steampunk community <laughs> because I volunteered at Comic Palooza one of the first years there was ever a thing, and this guy he was cosplayed as steampunk beast from the X Men, and he was talking in a British accent. I am no. furious right now. What? Okay, Beast is like traditionally not in a lot of clothing. Yeah, yeah. Beast. So what? So what, he's also like a pretentious guy. So what, Kelsey but, friggin' Grammar played. <laughs> no, I know, but what, but what was he dressed as? To Alucard. Make what? Alucard. Wait, so he had like <laughs> fancy old timey clothes? Yeah. All right. And a monocle. Hang on, I'm look. I'm looking this up. Are you just searching steampunk? I mean, beast? I hope, just gonna find my website. I hope someone didn't draw this. <laughs> I am the steampunk beast. Oh, oh I've got fantastic steampunk beast. <laughs> throw throw, throw X Men in the search results. <laughs> throw X Men in the search query all right, there. All right. Oh my God, is that Whoa, him? The far left one. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, so imagine so that angry. dude. <laughs> imagine that dude in my face complaining that a ballroom is not set up for a steampunk ball. <laughs> so imagine some big old nerd, <laughs> some big old blue nerd with a monocle and fur yelling at you because the steampunk ball does not meet my specifications. Uh, Do you hear the music and hear this is dubstep? Dubstep is not steampunk. (laughs) And mind you, bro, this was like 2011 when Skrillex was all the rage. You weren't going anywhere without hearing crazy, like, sprites and lights and... I want electronic (laughs) ragtime. Yeah, really. I'm going to find some. But what do you... Before I find some, what do you guys think is steampunk? Electro swing. (laughs) <laughs> oh my yeah, god. That, that's, that's the final the answer. <laughs> that's, the, I got, that's the final answer. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm gonna look this up. <laughs> Say to more family, I got you. Guys, <laughs> Electro <thing>. swing <laughs> with like uh it, boiling what, pots what, in wait, the back. What am, looking, <laughs> like, <laughs> what am I looking up? Steampunk dance music? <laughs> steampunk music. <laughs> yeah. Music. All right. You have to have gears for ears what's to listen up, to this. Oh, what's up, oh Greg boys. Cody's in the chat. Greg Cody. Another friend of your show. Joe, <laughs> oh, Joe, crap. Joe, Joe, Greg, you were fantastic Joe. at Speeding Motorcycle. I don't know if you heard us talking about it earlier, but we loved you. All right. I'll get you some steampunk music. Okay. Do you want, <laughs> do you want orchestral stuff or do you want <laughs> rap? <laughs> Guys, in the chat, can you tell us if you want to hear some <laughs> steampunk orchestral music or steampunk? I'm rap? looking at the camera real intimidating. Oh, like, shit. Hoping that no there's one says thing, rap. Oh, uh, there's a list of <laughs> steampunk bands. Yeah, read me a list of steampunk artists. Ooh, okay, all right. Diesel is Dresden punk. the Flamingo Doll on there? Oh, God. All right, they so come up on hang on, hang on. <laughs> let, let me tell you the most... Uh, difficult part so far is the first line of Don't this. Stop. Is, there are Greg, a few stop. rules that everyone should follow when adding or deleting from this list. <laughs> Yikes! Um, hey, I'm, I'm only getting uh, I'm getting a lot of calls for rap. So if you go ahead and play that, Steve, you guys rap. are rude. Oh, here we go. Here we go. While there is no, they 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 made a point to like define what is a steampunk band, and here there's five. So I'll list all five, and then we'll move into the rap. Wait, for the love of gosh, just play the rap before you <laughs> say this. <laughs> okay. No. This this chat's getting rowdy. All right, all right. <laughs> steampunk R and B. It's not gonna happen, Don. <laughs> <laughs> 
Unless it exists, then I'm in. <laughs> All right. Oh my One, gosh. One. They call themselves steampunk. Two. <laughs> old fashioned dress. Wrap the rules. Or style. Victorian, Edwardian, or 20 through 50 for diesel punk. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. This is Professor Elemental. The song is called Fighting Trousers. Oh, I think I actually know this guy. Oh, I know. Yeah, it was on my Spotify. We are fighting trousers. Oh, we are. Fighting trousers. Is he actually gonna rap, or is he just gonna say trousers? Listen, yeah. he's yeah. talking over a beat oh, that's his rapping. Dear sir, regarding your recent foray into the rap business and the scene you portray, see, I don't normally approve of war games, but he's buying is what they all say. And by Harry, they might be right. So imagine a guy, a big blue nerd dressed up as Beast with fur <laughs> that sounds like this, yelling at you because the music at his steampunk ball isn't like steampunk enough. Did he at least write? Did you guys make any accommodations for them to increase steam? Or My accommodation was not yeah, knocking him out. out yeah. <laughs> or steam was coming out of his ears because he was so mad. I accommodated my hands into my pockets. All right. Um, that was rap. Can I... <laughs> Can I try something Bill, else? Billy said, steampunk is for nerds who wish they had clock parents. <laughs> 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 All right. I'm seeing a lot of regret in the, in the chat right now. Um, okay. All right, you filthy animals. What, what's next? There are a lot of lit. All right. Uh, pick a letter, and I'll read some off some that Some steampunk letter. names? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Chuck, you're yes. Give us a letter. Uh, Z. Z. Oh, crap. That's a long... Burr, 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 burr. All right. Let's just go to V. Oh, say this, and then we got to wrap up. I didn't realize the show was, like, over. <laughs> uh, I'm... Does anyone want to keep going? Yeah, I'll mean, say the Z real quick. All right. <laughs> There's no Z. Wait. Oh, oh, I thought you said V. Because oh. I'll tell you this. Vagabond and Voltaire both show up, along with Vaudeville. Oh, I know a Voltaire song, When You're Evil. That's a good one. Shout out to James Duncan. Hey. <laughs> when You're Evil? Yeah. All right, I'm looking that up. I sang that in a melodrama Ooh. in San Jack. Jeez, Wait, what a this is trip steampunk? down memory lane. This was in Greece? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's, Greece 3. Here's Voltaire when you're evil. Yo, talk to me about steampunk Greece. <laughs> Everyone Man. has to build like mechanical spiders like Wild Wild West to race. Uh -oh. Ooh. You guys or, wanna... or just mine carts. What the? These lyrics are weird. They go in on the introduction. A steampunk baby. <laughs> is that part of it? The steam is like it has to pick up steam. <laughs> <laughs> Evan just got here right in time at nine p.m. <laughs> All right, Evan. Yeah. Evan, we're gonna do five extra minutes just for you. Too busy, and that's a bit too much. They call on me by name, you see. I don't remember it. <laughs> oh, this is cheeky. <laughs> the name of the album is The Devil Briss. Oh, Come wow. On. <laughs> the steampunk edge. I'm the fly in your suit. I'm the devil on your shoe. I'm the thief beneath your bed. I'm the bump on the what kind of dance did you do during the song? Is that it? <laughs> I was I was prancing around the stage, like singing this song to the audience in an yeah. arena. So I had audience on oh, all four like, sides of oh, me, just rules. trolling them with this song. It was it was great. It was I, great. I prefer the theater of the round. Yeah, I, I like way prefer that. It's I am I, all about audience interactions. Yeah. Why I love improv so much and like in the round where I, you're surrounded. I guess the rights to Voltaire's music is a lot cheaper than a uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> 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 so they're gonna do that then. <laughs> Basically. Oh man, um, do we have to wrap it up? I'm having fun. <laughs> Don gave us permission. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shouts out to you, Don. Yeah. Uh, we'll, that's what we'll say. All right. More steampunk. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go over and just play music. <laughs> oh, uh, music oh, rhubarb whiskey. Um, steam-powered giraffe. 
Steam Power Giraffe. Steam, Steam Power Giraffe. Steam Power Giraffe. That seems like it's going to deliver oh, the most. Actually, I think sweet. Nick Merriweather, friend of the show, uh, showed me this band semi recently. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. He showed me this extremely recently. Is that an X Men? Wow. I don't know what the hell this is. This is a Steampunk go. Colossus. Um, going to we'll let this ad play. This is, this is the song Honey Bee by Steam Power Giraffe. Guys, we've gone. We're no longer about reggae rock here. We're all about <laughs> steampunk. <laughs> reggae rock is dead to me. What have I done? <laughs> oh no! Now, for those of you at home, uh, oh, actually, I can just play the music video. On my Put the link for you guys. Link in the comments. What, what is it called? Honeybee. Get ready for this. Oh no! Ew! It's like a steampunk mime. Oh, there's a honeybee. Looking for honey. So that checks out. You didn't have to look my way. Your eyes still haunt me to this day. But you did. The music video is definitely steampunk. The music yes, itself reminds me of like Beirut or something. To say my name. They're cheating. They're just cosplaying I steampunk and doing something else. <laughs> yeah. Wait, you guys are just celebrating your posers. <laughs> this is pose punk. All right, we'll pose go, punk. We'll go to their. Uh, this is another song called Brass Goggles. Okay, <laughs> that that seems a little bit more promising. Hey, hey Connor, let's get down to Brass Goggles. Is that like Air Force Ones but for steampunk? Sandwich. What is he saying? Great. I need you to sing along. Oh, this cool. They included the sketch song. from the album. Even if you're in your underwear, sing loud and proud. Now, if you don't know the lyrics, just follow the bouncing pug head. Pug It'll show head. you the way. Now, uh, don't follow the red star. That'll give you the wrong lyrics and completely ignore the chihuahua. Is this hat. John Wayne? <laughs> then we're good to go. Sorry, John Wayne. <laughs> Without any further ado, Tune your ears to the grinding gears. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tim Curry. The comments are <laughs> so aggressively <laughs> angry right now. <laughs> it's like, why are you doing this? <laughs> hey, y'all don't have to listen to us. <laughs> no, wait, you do. <laughs> this is the most listeners we've had so long. <laughs> Uh, Guys, remember, the best way to stop this music is to call in at 713-526-8737. That's true. If you call in, we will cut the music and yeah, we will take But you call. cannot say a swear word and you cannot talk a mess about steampunk. You can only give us a new music genre. <laughs> yeah, give us another music genre. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. What are some other... Ooh, Pop Lock, Holmes, and DJ Watson. Stop. Um, oh, oh, I know one. I know Chuck, one. are you still doing music? Speaking of what, I, I haven't made, I haven't made but... anything in about a year. I yeah. just got busy with finishing school. Well, yeah, you've then... been super busy lately. I think, I think you should get back to it. I really enjoyed seeing the beats you're putting out. It's, it's something I think about all the time. I want to sample a song from Trigun. Oh, already downloaded. Well, you got it two online. weeks, baby. Maybe it's time to try. You have Ooh. and put your finger on the trigger of that. <laughs> Gun. Uh, nice. No. Try it. You do it. I mean, you had you had to work for it, but you did. Oh, it. we're getting a call. We're getting a <laughs> oh, call. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Stop. Hey there, you're on FM Rager. Hey. Yeah. Hi. This is Anise Parker. <laughs> hey, Mayor Parker. What's going on? Hey, you, you, you've got to make it stop. <laughs> hey, man, you're not the mayor anymore. You can't tell us what to do. <laughs> yeah. I, it, 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 listen, I'm, I'm listening to this with Sylvester Turner, and he's not. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's so miffed. <laughs> oh, Mayor Turner doesn't like it? <laughs> no, he, he's, he's not into steampunk. He's into ska. He's into ska. All right, you got it. We'll pull up some ska. All right, search uh, steampunk Sylvester ska. Sylvester Turner. Wait. Steampunk ska? Yeah, search those words in the search bar and see if the keyboard just dissolves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no! Crap. It exists. All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm <laughs> very ready. <laughs> oh, Mickey Mouse in Moscow. By the Busters. <laughs> hey, Voltaire's in this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is Voltaire really on this? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two songs. Whoa, 80 songs. It's all Voltaire. Ooh, this is from 1997. It's it's legit third wave ska. 
<laughs> Before it even started, Evan just says, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, I can, kind of I can kind of appreciate that the music has, like, a retro-futurism approach to it. I'll take it. It's charming. Yeah. Uh, but it sucks. It's a one-note game. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to play in a lot of notes. Uh. Wait. Oh. With the beat drop! Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, Okay, where's it going? When are they gonna start thinking about Mickey Mouse in Moscow? Oh! Look at all! Gorge! Seize the means of production! Oh, here we go. The Russians are the crazy! Hey! Wait a second, turn this off. No, turn this off right now. This is just Gogo Bordello. <laughs> you turn this off right now. Oh, man. All right. Are we getting uh, suggestions or what is it? Boss fight. Whoa, Evan, what you just said about futurism, I disagree with. <laughs> I will not read it because you curse. <laughs> Look, what, what, what do you want us to play? That's right. This is request hour. <laughs> what do you this want is, this from is our, us? This is us becoming the shock jocks we've always wanted to be. Guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to the steampunk hour where we play the greatest hits in steam. I got over here to my left, my co-host, the corn dog, and we've got our special guest, Safety Cone. Yes, that's right, DJ Safety Cones in the house. <laughs> yeah, I'm hanging out with me, corn dog, with my good co-host, the Mustard Man. How you doing, Must? <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> we agree. I'm doing good, <laughs> or should I say, great? Poop on! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I can always get a good one out of you. Hey, people are still joining into the <laughs> chat. What do we got here? Full of fascists. Also, still new Jack Swing. What do you want? New Jack Swing? There's a rapper who made a bunch of music about the webcomic Aquas. Okay, oh, guys, okay. we're going All too right. far with this. All right. <laughs> Let's wrap up the love show. We gotta yeah. make dinner. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right, let me uh, pull up this last segment here. This is a fun one. <laughs> this was a fun one. Chuck, thank you so much for being on the show. Yeah, Chuck, I appreciate it. One more segment for you, if you could stomach it. I know we made you do a lot of steampunk music. Right, Wait, we're go. getting a phone call before you start the music. Oh, hang on. <laughs> hey, you're on FM Rager. So call her. Oh, Baba Booey, Baba Booey, Baba Booey, Baba Booey. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's awesome. We're going to record that and put it on our soundboard. Thank you so, so much for calling in, Baba Booey. Uh, now for our last segment. Here we go. Ooh. This ain't steampunk. This ain't your dad's steampunk. I want a new plug. Tell me what's going on. Tell us all the stuff you're doing after I sing this song. All right, Chuck, what do you got to plug, buddy? Uh, Futile Society every Thursday at the Secret Group. I'm sure everyone listening has been to that already. Um, I Not will everyone. be <laughs> I will be back on the block at Comedy Sports uh, next week, Friday, August the 16th. I'll be in Ooh. the match throwing down the funny, family-friendly improvisation. Um, the Houston Actors Equity Festival is happening in September, and I'm going to be in the cast of Wit in that. And Safety Theater's always got shows going on. Two groups always got shows going on. Where can we uh, follow you to keep up with what you're doing? Uh, mostly an Instagram guy. You can okay. find me under the name Chuck Dastardly. Ooh, I love that name. If you so followed much. me on Twitter, maybe that would give me a, re a reason to tweet same name. <laughs> and my Facebook is friends only, sucker. <laughs> hey, be so my keep friend. Walking, kid. I got the yeah. same policy. <laughs> I mean, I got a, I got a. Bumble and a and all that. <laughs> so if you hit me up on that, say I heard you on the radio, I'll give you some time. Yeah, Ooh. and also, <laughs> come time December, Newsies in Space will be on a stage yeah, yeah. near America. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Why not? Why we can not? put it on in this continent. <laughs> yeah. Um. And if you find me on Bumble and say you listen to me on the radio, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can go ahead. Please don't report me. <laughs> Uh, Ned, what do you have to plug? Uh, you can find me at Ned of the Dead on all social medias. Like Chuck, uh, every Thursday, I will be at Secret Group doing Futile Society at 8 p.m. Only $5 mm -hmm. to see some fantastic improv. Great. Uh, oh, uh, this Saturday, I'm doing Hot for Teacher. 
Uh, Nick Merriweather and Victor Trans. That's one of my show. kinks. Yeah, it's, <laughs> <laughs> well, this show's going to be your new kink because it's very funny and enjoyable, <laughs> in my opinion. Uh, people will be giving presentations uh, via PowerPoint and teaching the audience how to do various cool things. Power and pointing? One yeah, of my kinks. Better. <laughs> Everything is a kink. Uh, steampunk is my only gig. <laughs> uh, and then Sunday, guys, we took a month off of playing, but Swimmer Department is coming back. We'll be playing Market Square Park for Lebowski Fest. Oh, uh, right. Or the Lebowski Bash, yeah. rather. So, uh, look it's going to be up my Facebook first time seeing that movie. Ooh, I am so excited for you. It's going to be a blast. Connor, what about you? Uh, look, follow me uh, at Cryptocurrency on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, listen to it that a foul. We're not dropping an episode this week, but we'll be dropping one next week back to our regular schedule. Uh, and also August thirty first, there's another rendition of "You Now Have the Floor." Woo. Ned's gonna be on it. Woo. It's gonna be great. There's <laughs> a lot of people on it. If you want more information, go to Instagram. City of Hosewater. That's it. That's the account. Yeah. Rahul and I got some silly stuff planned. Go follow us. That's it. I have nothing else to plug. <laughs> uh, All right. Any parting words, Chuck? What's uh, anything last you want to say? Uh, stay wet. Stay hydrated. It's hot out there. The sun will do a lot of damage to your skin. Stay moisturized. Exfoliate your skin. You have a lot of dead cells on you. Um, also, clarify. Like, Use a clarifying shampoo. We put a lot of stuff in our hair. Not a lot of people know about clarifying it to make sure that you can reset the balance. Like, pH is really important with your hair, your skin, your nails. Like, take care of yourself, baby. All right, look, oh, buddy. Man, we we're not going to roll back <laughs> on the show to talk skin. <laughs> yeah, no, no more multi-level marketing on this show, buddy. All right, have a good nothing. one. Bye. Buy what Bye. you want. <laughs>